Hey guys, Tim here with Two Feathers Survival. Tonight's episode, we're going to be finishing our Ottoman Sun Compass and show you the components that you're going to need to do that with. A couple small cuts that you're going to need to make to the board that we created last time. And I'll show you how this works. Stay with me. Alright guys, to finish our project of the sun compass, a couple things that we're going to need. Uh, a small string that we can put around our gnomon and make some measurements with. A pencil. A ruler or some sort of straight edge if you have it. And a compass if you have it. And the only reason that I've got that here is to confirm our cardinal directions. The other thing that you're going to need is on your board you're going to need either three cuts or four cuts however you want to do this and you're going to want to make it oh about a quarter of an inch or so in and i can do this on all the corners so i've got one here here and one back at the gnomon if i had thought about this better i probably should have come in on angles at the back corner that way i've got a clearer directional finding from the gnomon there which you can see crosses over the line now the other thing that you're going to notice I've taken all of our series of dots and just made that a sweeping arc. And I did that with a marker. This could be done with a pencil, Sharpie if you have it, anything of that nature. So that will give us a bearing line, which I'll show you how to orient that north and south. But as long as I've got this level and I get that gnomon to touch a point on the line, I know when I'm heading in a northern lee direction. Remember, lee from Ron Hood. Northernly, southernly, it's a roundabout directional finding mechanism. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it will give us a bearing. The other thing that you can think about as well, if I want to navigate at the night and I have enough moonlight to make this work, I can make this exact same thing utilizing the moon and I can now have a east-west line that I can then use to navigate northerly or southerly or easternly, whichever it is that I'm looking to do by way of the moon. So don't be limited with just this one thing. All right, guys, to finalize our Ottoman sun compass, I'm going to need some pieces of cordage, three equal length pieces of cordage that I tied with a simple overhead knot, overhand knot, I guess I should say, and I ran that through the cuts that I made on the compass here. So what this will do is allow the compass to hang, push this down a little bit there, get that taunt, in pretty much a level plane. Why is that important? Well, as I rotate this, you can see where the gnomon starts to touch that line. So as long as I know where I have had this back to level, I know how to now find a directional angle with that. All right, guys, the other thing that you're going to want to do with a small piece of cordage. Take and make a loop on one side that I can slip around that gnomon, and I've made a knot. A knot, as long as it touches one point of that line, that's all we're really looking to do. So from here, I have it on the line. So I'm gonna slide this arc over to here, and I have it on the line. And those two points where it intersects the arcing line, I wanna draw a small dot there. Then I'm gonna connect those two lines. And from that line, once I've got a straight line, that gives me a direct east-west point of reference. From there, then I can establish my north and south. So let me get a pencil here, and I'm going to mark this down. Get this all the way down to the bottom here. Pull this tight again. So I'm just going to make a small line there, bring this over, make a small line there. So now I can get rid of this. Now I can get my handy dandy straight edge. And draw a line again, after connecting those two points. Of course it moved because I'm trying to do too many things at once. Try that one more time. So now I've got an east-west line. So from there, if I take a something that's got 90 degrees on it, which this line does as well, 
this will be off from the gnomon so try to make this as about as square as I can not too bad now I've got my northern indicator which makes this southern which just makes this eastern and western so now I have a compass bearing device that I can utilize to take some measurements with which we're going to do that right now let this kind of free float here for a second and now that I've got it fairly level I want to take my gnomon pointer which this is why I said I should probably have moved this off and over to the corners right about there is just about just about where I using my solar line says I'm facing north. So I'm going to gently place this down. All right guys, I had to move the camera a little bit there. I said I'm doing too many things at once. It says that that's pretty much north directions here. So this line here is facing to the north. So I've got a compass here. I'm going to set that in there in that camera view. Oh, let's try that again. I'll set that in the camera view. And that is now showing me magnetic north. So the compass is saying north is that way. My Ottoman sun compass is pretty gosh darn close. So you see this gnomon line is now touching this arc line that's here. As long as I've got that pointer on an arc line, this will keep the board oriented in a northerly direction. Now I've got a way that I can, without having a fancy compass or GPS or my cell phone, aka fancy GPS or compass, whatever I've downloaded, if I don't have any of those, using the Ottoman Sun compass, I now have an easy way to show north. And this will be solar north or more of a true north. So there's a little bit difference here. But again, this is northern Lee, or whichever way that I want to go. It's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty gosh darn close. Let me move the camera again, and I'll show you this a little bit closer. All right, guys. So again, after I've changed the camera here a little bit, here's my north and south line on the sun compass. There is my north and south line on my traditional magnetic compass. Pretty close gang so now I have something that as long as I've got the Sun in the sky I've got a way whether I have a compass or not to navigate by and again don't be limited just by daylight navigation with this this exact same technique will work with the moon as long as I have enough light to basically have it be able to cast a shadow on hope you've enjoyed today's quick tip hope you've enjoyed building an autumn and Sun compass if you've made one, shoot me a text or shoot me a picture of what you've created and I'll put it up onto the Facebook page. Until next time guys, this is Tim with Two Feathers Survival. Keep your knives sharp, keep your go bags close.